Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I am everything about this video. I am so excited. If you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. I am so pumped because Queen All Hail Queen Timtalia has collaborated with Sydney Grace on three, not one, not two, but three palettes. They are available right now on the Sydney Grace website. And I thought there was no better fitting video for me to do than a swatch and sip for multiple reasons. If you don't know what swatch and sip is, basically the makeup goblin, gremlin that I am. I just love to swatch eyeshadows. I love to look at pretty things. That's what this series is all about. It's not one of my more popular series, but it's one of the most fun for me to film. And, well, the sip part, before I get into the swatch part, the sip part is I like to chill, swatch eyeshadows, and sip on a drink. I just made myself a fresh coffee. It is in my Peloton merch, <laughs> Yeti cup. And I just have a nice iced coffee. I don't know. I didn't have my morning coffee today for this video. I saved it for now and I added a little extra of the good stuff, creamer in. It tastes really good. Okay, anyways, let's get into the swatch part. Why I love swatch and sip and I chose to do these Sydney Grace palettes for it today is because Sydney Grace eyeshadows, they are an indie brand, but they create some of the most superior eyeshadow formulas. Creamy, pigmented, just eyeshadows that deserved to be swatched on camera, hence the format of this video. Now I look, as Jose said when I walked downstairs, weird because I have my makeup halfway done because at the end of this, after I've swatched my eyeshadows, I've gotten my satisfaction, I want to use those swatches to decide which palette I'm gonna put on my face and I'm gonna do a quick eye tutorial with you guys as well. So yeah. I did receive these in PR. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I actually ordered these by myself with my own money, the same exact three palettes that are in my hands right now, uh, but then the day that I ordered them right after, these came in the mail and I was like, these are P PR. Oh, I was not expecting to get PR, so a huge thank you to Sydney Grace and Tamtalia for sending these my way. And because I have another set coming, keep an eye out for a giveaway, it's coming. I don't have them yet, so I don't want to do the giveaway yet, but it'll come in a surprise video. I'm not going to tell you what. you got to watch all my videos first. Right, so again, yes, thank you. I am so grateful. Was not expecting these. I am so excited. So these are what they look like. I guess we'll do a little mini review on here. So they are available on the Sydney Grace website. They are available in deep and light versions. That's something very cool that Sydney Grace does is they'll change up the transition shades to make them more appropriate for different skin tones. I of course have the light because I'm light. And they are $40 per palette or you can get in the bundle for $100 and there's a lot of amazing great creators who do have discount codes which I believe are applicable to these so I will list some down below. The lucky winner for the first one is going to be Radiant Reflection. So I believe if you put all of them together they make a picture very thoughtfully done and I'm gonna say something negative. Okay, Queen Temtalia is still the queen of makeup reviews and I'm speaking from this at a consumer standpoint because I was a consumer, I actually decided which palettes I wanted to purchase and purchase them with my own money. It was a bit confusing for me to decide which palettes I wanted. I feel like all three of the palettes are in the same kind of general deep jewel tone color story which was beautiful but there wasn't enough differentiation between each palette to where I could easily say oh I Love this one and this one they all kind of look the same like they they look like they should all be in one big palette as opposed to three different palettes each palette is beautiful and i definitely want to swatch these to see if they are worth getting all three uh, but that's the one thing from a consumer standpoint that i thought was like i didn't know which one to get because they kind of looked, looked the same to me so i got all three but they all look beautiful so let's take a look at radiant reflection i've totally opened these but i have not yet swatched them boom Oh my goodness, and these are gonna swatch like heaven. I just know it. Actually, I'm gonna switch over my camera settings so you can see the color better. I know I look darker, but you're going to be able to see the colors better this way. Okay, yes. 
Look at that. So I think this one, if I can remember correctly, is the one that's the most colorful. Let me check. Again, they all kind of look the same, so I can't really remember. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this one is like a little bit more rainbowy. So let's get to swatching. Here's how I'm gonna do it, because they're kind of organized by color family. We're gonna go like these three, then these three, then these three, then these three. Yeah, makes sense. We're gonna start off with Unstoppable Love, Opera Rose. <sighs> All of my swatch and sips basically are only indie shadows. Indie does it better. Look at how these are looking on my finger. Here we go. Beautiful. Sydney Grace does not come to play with their formulas. They just like, they do it right. Okay. Oh, that shade right there. That's Temptalia. Oh. Okay, this must be like her favorite shade because that's stunning. Let's move on to the next three. We have Sumptuous Serendipity, Phosphus, Phos, oh my god, don't make fun of me, and Desert Constant. Sounds about right. Okay, here's how they look on the finger. Oh, this Phosphine's color and Sumptuous Serendipity. <sighs> you see how reflective and creamy they are? What I love about Sydney Grace is they really don't make a mess on the face because they're so creamy. They just glide right onto the eyelid and they stay there. This color is a really beautiful transition, so take a look at that. So this right here is a beautiful color story in of itself. You can get a wonderful look with this. I love it. All right, we're gonna move to the next color family here. Go into this shade. I mean, listen, I love a nice, like, super glittery reflective shade, but Sydney Grace does these shimmers amazing that you don't even need that. This one's a little bit more metallic. Our styrene night and gloss over. So take a look at that. Even though I never wear blues, there's something about blue shadows that are just phenomenal. Ugh, they're just so satisfying to swap. I don't wear them, but I sure like to look at them. That's what I pay for. That right there, this blue, mm-hmm. And this one is gloss over. This one's a little bit more shimmery, a little bit. Not softer, but it's softer than this middle shade that has a little bit more reflex. Last one, let me clean off my fingers. Ooh, I got a good feeling about these shades too. These are beautiful greens. Exquisite Opulence, Jealousy's Descent. <sighs> these two together by Video's Over. That's a look right there. These three, yes. Okay, here we go. Get ready, focus on my arm. Thank you. Mm-hmm, look, that could run down my arm for miles. Ooh, she thick. Oh yes, okay, so here we are. This is the first palette. You can see each shade carries so much vibrancy, so much pigment, they have a thickness to them that I really love to give you that coverage. I'm gonna leave these on my arm. But again, that one was Radiant Reflection. I think if you're into a little bit more color, you're really gonna like that one. Problem with these swatch and sips is I look like a five-year-old at the end of it. I'm like covered. Onward we go. This one is on the horizon. Cute. Look how pretty that is. So this one, dare I say a little bit more wearable. Obviously, you can get some more fun looks, but this one, if you like cool tones, I think you'll really like this one. I like cool tones. So let me look at the other one. I think this one might be the winner for me. This one might be my favorite. Oh, the other one is actually even more cool. I don't know. I feel like this one looks kind of similar to this next one. Similar but different. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take a look at this on the horizon. We're gonna swatch in the same way because again, it still looks like it's broken up into like two different color stories. I have to use these fingers to swatch now on my other arm. October Odyssey. Okay, these look sick. Phoenix Awakens. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna say this right and people get offended when I say things wrong, so... Look at that. Wow, these three shimmers. I s totally swatched the wrong way. Whatever, it's fine. These look awesome. Here we go. The magic happens now. Okay, beautiful rose shade. Oh, okay. Video's over. Wow. My arms get tired when I film this. Ooh, that's a beautiful lid shade right there. It has like a unique twist to it. Don't look at my face. Really pretty. That shade that I said that was unique has almost a little bit of like a green flex to it. Very, very subtle. Super pretty. Here we go. Calming Presence. That reminds me of a couple of the blues that we have in the other palette. We'll take a look. Really beautiful. Sakura Glow. Love that name. And a nice staple gray for cool tone lovers. Oh, that was the most crooked swatch ever. Excuse me. 
Ooh, beautiful. Oh, the wrong finger. <laughs> yes, this one has a little bit of a blacker base, which I don't prefer, but you kind of see that in comparison to the other colors on the other palette. It is similar to this one. This one has a little bit more purple, and you can also compare it to the rose tones up top. So kind of similar. No real dupe for dupes, but there definitely are some close-ish shades. Okay, so to compare the blues to the blues, I'm going to swatch these next so that they stay consistent on the arm. This shade looks yummy. Okay, so here's how they're looking on the fingers. Yeah, swatches make me happy. <laughs> okay, let me do the blues first. Okay, my swatch is getting real crooked. <laughs> How beautiful. Maybe I need to like push them up. You see they travel very far in the arm. That's how you know they carry a lot of pigment. And you can kind of see how those colors compare. They're very, very different. <sighs> My arms need to rest. Okay, we have three more colors to take a look at. We have the more green tones now. It's a little bit more silver. One has like a aqua green kind of look to it. I don't know which one I'm going to want to use. They're all so pretty. Okay, here we go. Mmm. That one definitely has some aqua to it. Take a quick look. That is the On the Horizon palette. And you can compare it to the other one. <laughs> look how not straight my swatches are. But you can see, they definitely, I'm not going crazy, right? They do look kind of similar. Look, rose tones on top, blues on the bottom. Okay, so the last one that we have is Quintessence, and it looks like this. This one is the most cool-toned one, I would say. And I think, based on looks, this is the one that I'm the most attracted to. Uh, you still have a couple mauve tones, but I think, as much as I want to compare them side by side, I'm going to have to get it off of this arm. So sorry about that. I wish I had a third arm so we could put them all next to each other, but that's okay. Here we go. We're gonna do these three shades first. Oh, I'm feeling this shade right here. Yup, this is my favorite shade in the collection right here, Aurora. Okay, here we go. Okay, that black just swatched exquisite, wow. Pretty. Okay, my heart just stopped. This is it. This is my color. This is my favorite palette because it contains this color. Absolutely stunning. And the reason why I didn't make this video a review, by the way, is because I know the quality in here is just phenomenal. It's Sydney Grace. They don't skip a beat, you know? They won't put out anything that's crap, and I'm sure Tim Dahlia wouldn't let them either. Beautiful. Oh, do you see the shift in this shade? The Milky Way? Beautiful. This one pulls a little bit more purple, which I love. Yep. This shade reminds me of, I believe it's The Greatest Gift or something like that from Sydney Grace. Ooh. Okay. This one's my favorite palette, I think. I'm just, those six colors alone, I'm vibing with it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go into more of these grays down here. Oh, this color right here, so unique. It's like a purpley red gray. Let's see, let's see how it looks. Yeah, I do not have an eyeshadow that looks like that. So far, looking gorgeous. Okay, last three shades are the green family here. Again, these are the shades that I feel like I wouldn't reach for as often, but I'll, I will swatch them the most because they're the most pretty to look at. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, so that's kind of how they would compare to this first one. This one I feel like is the most unique, those first two. It's not that the colors are the same, it's that the color families in each palette are the same. Again, I just feel like it would have made a great giant palette. I love this one. I think this one's my favorite one. This is a color story that really wowed me the most. So I think we're gonna do a look on this eye. So I'm gonna clean off my arm and we're gonna get even closer to my face. I created another purple look. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. The purple tones in this palette were just, they were literally calling my name. 
I'm not exaggerating. <sighs> okay, so on my eyes right now, I'm starting off with this Sigma eyeshadow base primer. Nice, I like it. I don't know. And I did go into Quintessence, which is my favorite palette. It's the one that I'll end up using the most. Using a Refer number 16 brush, we are going into Parallax right here. This looks like it would be pretty light in the pan, but you can see it definitely carries a little bit of depth as you apply it. And I'm not gonna talk too much on the quality because it's amazing. <laughs> I mean, Sydney Grace knows what they're doing with eyeshadows. They've got it down. Blendable, pigmented, anything you would want in an eyeshadow formula, they have it. It's gonna blend that out. And my base, it's a little bit sticky and the shadow is still blending on it so seamlessly. I'm gonna take a 217 brush from MAC and I'm just going to lightly run this on the lower lash line. Let's add a little bit more depth now. I'm using a rougher 14 brush, which is the best if you have small eyes. We are going into the darker gray shade right here and I'm gonna pack it on in the outer corner. I don't wanna go too deeply in because you can see I'm not putting much depth on the inner corner or inner half of my eye. So I'm keeping this down here and again, build it along the lower lash line and make sure as you go, you are diffusing these edges. And this is the only tutorial that I'm doing in today's video. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, Morgan Turner Makeup, because I'm going to do Instagram reels for the last two palettes for whatever looks I decide to create, but I wanted to do my favorite in a YouTube video. Okay, next up, you're gonna want to use a black eyeliner. I'm using the Wonder 2 Superstay Liner. It's really, really black. Doing that, oh, I'm making a mess. So you can see the lower lash line is really smoky, so no biggie, and then, ah! This is a really creamy eyeliner, so brace yourself. That wasn't supposed to happen, but trust me, it's fine. Honestly, the shimmer shadows in here would look beautiful over a black base like this. I recommend if you're into smoky eyes to try that out. Okay, I'm gonna use this random brush from a ZC palette, and we're gonna go into one of the best blacks ever. It's not focusing, but I mean, you know what a black shadow looks like. Using a very light hand with this because it can get intense. What's great about this black is it's pretty easy to blend out all things considered. You can see how black that is. I barely touched in the pan, but I actually want the focus of the black to be down here along the lash line, then put a little bit along the lower lash line as well. So you can see we're working with a really smoky base for this look. I'm kind of work on blending this and really important that you get the edges for this one I don't want to blow it out too much. Like I said, I really want the focus of the black in here I mean the main reason why this look happened was because I needed to put Aurora Which is my favorite shade that I swatched today on my eyelid So I'm starting off with a refer 28 brush and this does apply better with a finger But I want to at least make the guide for this shade because it does apply a little bit softer with a brush but you can see it's still pretty dang pigmented. And I'm carrying this pretty far over. We're gonna blend the edges, so don't worry. This is just placement right now. I'm gonna take my finger, and we're just gonna build up the pigmentation. Not that it wasn't pigmented before, but since I want this look to be so intense, we're building it up. Take your brush, diffuse those edges. Now we're gonna take some of Celestial Bloom. This is like the perfect blue-purple hybrid. So if you're doing a bluish-purplish look, this is going to be a great bridge between those two color stories. And I'm patting it to lead Aurora into the black. Just like that, so you see that depth that it adds. And then again, work on blending. I'm actually gonna add more of that on this eye to even things out. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and we're gonna go into Celestial Bloom again. And that's what I'm gonna put right over the black. And this is what I'm talking about, where these shimmer shades are gonna look amazing over a black base. It makes the look so galactic and smoky. It really adds just more to the look. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the black just focus it right down here close to the lash line I'm gonna blend it very sparingly into the outer base okay last part I'm gonna take Cyrus Starlight which is like that silver color and how pretty does that look as an inner corner color maybe even right here okay great all this looks needs is some mascara and lashes. I really don't think it needs any liner. And I'll be back to show you the final look. All right, you guys, here is the final look with lashes, lips, everything done. Gosh, is it not stunning? What is a Morgan Turner look without it just being purple, 
barf all over the eyelid in the best way possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this swatch and sip, hanging out with me, swatching some eyeshadows, even a bonus look, and a mini review, all kind of mishmashed into one video. My final thoughts about the palette, as I assume the quality is spectacular, and Temptalia picked out literally some of the most beautiful tones ever. It's disgusting. Realistically, if there is a color story that really speaks to you, I do recommend picking it up. I don't think you need all three. If there's one that you're like, I really like the color story on that one, I would pick that up. But if there's two that you really like, I would say just pick up all three because it's not much more expensive to get all three. So either pick up one or pick up all three, you know, all or nothing. But anyways, these palettes are absolutely stunning. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And thanks for hanging out with me. I will catch you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.